Welcome to March. February is finally over, which is awesome. I always say it has the shortest amount of days because it sucks the most. Did you know more people kill themselves in the month of February than any other month, which is why, thank goodness, it's the shortest month, but then also why I felt it was super important in March to have this reading center around our happiness, okay? So there are a lot of reasons why people watch these videos, but at the very core of it, I think that people are watching because they want some good news, right? They want something to look forward to. In the uh, words of Omar Suleiman, a very wise guy, he says that the keys to happiness are three things. Something to love, something to do, and something to look forward to. So hopefully, I'm gonna give you all of those in this reading. So, um, even if your life is already full of joy and happiness and bliss, if you're just wanting to hear some validation about these good vibes that you're already feeling, that, you know, to hear you're already on the right path, that you're making the right choices, the right decisions for that sense of security, security does bring happiness, right? Knowing what to expect. At the end of the day, happiness is what we're all seeking. It's the reason why we seek out help, why we would use a tarot reader, why we would look up our horoscope. This is why we're doing this, okay? We are fiends for happiness. It's the ultimate drug and so this is what we're focusing on in uh, March so this will be for your Sun moon or rising sign uh, a lot of times because of our moon sign correlates to our emotions and how we feel which is a lot of times why we make the decisions we make that might resonate a little bit better for you so um, it might be advisable to watch your moon sign as well as your Sun sign and then you could do your rising sign as well too if you'd like to um, what did I want to say okay so since we're focusing on happiness for March and how to kind of sustain that throughout the year this is how we're gonna look at it we're gonna do um, where are you at right now what is tainting any feelings of happiness that you otherwise should have right now what will make you feel happy or at least what you think will um, how is that perception true how is that perception false um, what will actually make you the most happy this month and then we're gonna look at the forces that are kind of outside of your control right, that is affecting this state, and um, which ones that are not really within your power are kind of accelerating your happiness, and then which ones are decelerating that. Um, we're going to look at what's going to bring you luck this month, your crystal of the month, your color energy, your lucky days, and then also any energies that you need to kind of bring into your life in order to help the happiness thrive, how to sustain the happiness once you get some, and then just kind of like a recap or overall nutshell of what March will look like for your sign. So um, kind of thinking about, you know, okay, well, is this reading going to be enough because it's for each specific zodiac sign, each sign has their own. Then I was thinking, um, those of you who have followed me for a long time might remember stop, drop, roll readings, uh, where it's something that you stop doing, something you drop from your life, and something you should roll with. I think I'm going to do a special on those, but um, really kind of amped up or accelerated in order to um, really harness in on that happiness sort of life coaching aspect. And the reason why I think this is important in March is because number one, it's the perfect time for spring cleaning, right? Uh, number two, the popularity of Marie Kondo right now and you know, sort of thinking about, let's get rid of the things that don't bring me joy. Let's just focus on the things that bring me joy and you know, we all are always looking for joy. We're either trying to increase pleasure or decrease pain. And so that's kind of the purpose of this reading. And then here's the other thing. We're about to step into this Mercury retrograde. We're in the pre-shadow period right now as I record this. And so then when it hits us, um, in order to use this time in its fullest potential, we want to very much evaluate, okay, this isn't working for me. I want to pitch this and I want to do something that's going to make my life better. It's going to make me happier. It's going to make me more joyful, more satisfied with life. And so um, I think I'm going to offer that like in sort of a goals and coaching, very intensive sort of way as a special. Um, once I decide to do that, 
if you're on the email list, um, I only send one email a month, so don't let that be a reason why you're not on my list. Um, then you'll be notified of that. And if there's like a coupon code or something that would be in there, uh, if you're not on the list, you should be because I give away, like I said, it's only one email a month, but I, every single month I give away a free 20 minute, um, video reading to uh, a random person selected from my list. So that being said, um, I'm sorry if this long intro did not bring you joy, if it decreased your happiness, but now you know what to expect in your reading. So let's get started. Hey Leos, welcome to March. So where are you at right now? They're saying, ooh, some of you are kind of stuck in a negative or toxic pattern, situation, mindset, something like that. They're saying, um, for a lot of you, this is just your mood, and you're feeling like you can't deeply connect to other people. Um, they're saying, like, you're not judging yourself necessarily because of that. Probably you're more judging the other person but or anything else involved. But they're saying you're not really being judgmental. It's just like... Um, you know, any lack of connection that you feel, it's only because you, like, live and breathe drama. Like, if things are peaceful, if there is no, like, tragedy to overcome, like, then you're not going to be trauma bonded to a certain job, to a certain person, or relationship, okay? And so they're like, no news is good news. Take a fucking chill pill, okay? Um, what's tainting any feelings of happiness this month? And they're saying, well, you're not so much uh, putting your own needs first, like your own self-care. You need something exciting in your life. Um, and so since that's not happening in relationships and in general this month, like go and create your own fun and your own excitement basically is what they're saying. What is it that you think is going to make you happy? And they're like, absolutely, it is something that is wrong for you and you know that it's wrong for you, which is why you feel completely powerless over your own happiness. Um, but how is this? Whoa, whoa, that was weird. So I could swear that they flipped out and then, yeah, okay. So they're saying here, what's hiding here? is that, you know, the past is behind you and you seem to forget that sometimes. Like just because you have a pattern of something before doesn't mean you haven't broken it and aren't moving forward now. Everything is peaceful and calm. This is what you wanted. But you're almost like, you know, throwing up a shield, waiting for the next bad thing to happen, like you're expecting it to happen, even though you're not manifesting it, even though you're not like asking for something bad to happen. It's like you're afraid that something will. And they're like, no, 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 no. That's not the case. Go create some healthy fun and excitement. That's what you need to do. Um, so anyway, how is this perception true? And they're like, you already know this is. You can feel it. You know that within yourself. How is your perception false? And they're saying that you've completely moved on from things and that you're not a little bit confused about what you want for the future. But once you think about what it is that you desire, what you want, where you want to go, go create that for yourself is essentially what they're saying. So what's going to make you the most happy in March? And they're saying, um, we don't need to tell you that. You already know. Um, then they say... It has really very little to do with like the spiritual world. Um, you have full awareness and you know that you need to put yourself a little bit more um, first and foremost, really honoring yourself, caring for yourself, doing things that you love. They're saying like you might just be a little bit bored or sad, bummed out, or maybe you don't have as much money as you used to or you're worried about money and concerned about it. But they're like self-care doesn't have to mean that. It could just be like a bath that is like, you know, extra long with no disturbances, taking a day off of work and taking a bath while your kids are in school. Um, they're saying like, whatever used to bring you joy in the past, it doesn't matter if you have to do it in a different way. They're like, that's not the important part. The important thing here is just to decide to really care for and honor yourself in this time of peace and remember like you deserve this. You deserve it. Just because you're not putting out fires doesn't mean that things um, are boring now. You know, this is what you asked for. This is what you wanted and now you're getting it. So um, forces that are at play outside of your control in favor of your happiness and they're saying um, people are not reaching out to you in like annoying ways. You know, you know how like sometimes somebody might just send you a text message and they're like, hi, and you're like, ugh, 
and it ruins your day because now you feel obligated to respond to them and you just weren't in the mood and you're like, why am I even friends with you? How did you get my phone number? Like, bleh. um, people are going to do that a little less this month. So good. <laughs> They're going to ask you for less. Um, and you know, like honestly, your work obligations are not going to be as much. They're not as stressful. And then, but that might freak you out a little bit too. Like, okay, do I still have value here? You're lying to yourself if you're saying you don't. Like, they're like, chill the fuck out. Um, you're not so much thinking about your long term and like how this is what you wanted for the long term and really embracing and enjoying this drama free time. Um, what's working against you? And they're saying, well, you know, fun for one, you maybe aren't not having as much of it. And then your own decisions. Um, they're saying like when you're feeling unhappy or bored, you might go stirring up some trouble. And I don't mean it to sound like Leo's are total drama queens. I'm a Leo. So like, I'm always, oh, I hate drama. But it's true. I do get a little bit bored when there is done. Um, but they're saying, you know, like, You've been through a lot, and so now is, like, your time to rest and stuff like that. And now you're coming into, after that, uh, this is a number message, this, like, kind of, like, sexier energy where people are drawn to you. And so they're, like, enjoy the time off. They're saying, like, right now other people don't want the same things that you want, and so you're kind of just, like, avoiding each other because that would have been a toxic situation. So no news is good news. If this is a boring month, awesome. Awesome for you. You finally get to take a breather. Um... What's going to bring you luck this month? So, unfortunately, I had uh, my own little bit of drama going on in my life, and so I couldn't get these videos out as soon as I wanted to. Your lucky day was set to be the 8th when I wrote it down, but then they say, okay, because this is coming out after the 8th, um, the 15th is the next luckiest. <laughs> so there's that. Um, your crystal of the month, your power crystal, your lucky crystal is tiger eye. It looks like this. It also comes in blue, um, which I have on my website. So you can get one of these. If you already have one, just use it. If you have a local rock store, that's good too. If you get one from me from my website, um, it comes with a video playlist on how to use them and a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, what is the point? It gets rid of fear and anxiety. Um, it approves your ability to like identify what problems are and then solve them, which will maybe help you get rid of some of that need for like drama or excitement. It strengthens your will, your self confidence. Um, it helps like eliminate some stubbornness and stuff like that. It gets rid of confusion. It helps you be very clear minded and focused. So it does a bunch of other stuff, which you can look up over there later. But that's um, your crystal of the month. Now your color of the month is the pearl energy. And it's interesting how the number here is a 2-5, right? 2 be meaning things are balanced and stable. 5 meaning, oh, but not forever. So let's enjoy it now because things are going to expand. Um, anyway, the pearl energy is, says connecting to the divine. So with this one, um, you know, anything in the white family is really going to be cleansing and purifying. It's the color of integrity, honesty, truth, that sort of thing. But what's interesting about this one is my notes to myself, as far as color energies go, it says pearl, nothing fucking else, only pearl. <laughs> so sometimes you might have, I think it was Scorpio this month, that has like a couple colors that work in their favors. This is for the whole fucking month the fucking color. Excuse the Fs, but um, not to be a pouty mouth. It's just like emphasis, okay? I'm I'm bringing back the drama. Um, what's interesting, now I feel like a shit bag because I have been wearing pearls coincidentally all month before I even decided what your color energy was or, I mean, your spirit guides decided. And I took them off today. Um, but I had a pearl bracelet, if you watch the other videos, and pearl earrings, totally embracing this pearl energy. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to go change once I'm done with this video. But anyway, the point with this one is the affirmation says, surround me with your healing light, strengthen my connection to divine love and light. So we're very, very reliant upon divine love and light energies this month um, to kind of like cleanse us and clear us and ready us for the next chapter, um, which will be coming. I feel like this is like late summer or like late spring, early summer energy where things are going to get kind of wild and fun and exciting again. Okay. What energies do you need to bring into your life to experience more happiness now? And they're like, so any sort of depression or sadness energy that you have, or um, like, don't deny it. Like, acknowledge it. 
you know, kind of just work through it. Go, okay, I feel sad. Why do I feel sad? Okay, got it. How can I change that? And they're saying it's going to make you feel a little bit crazy um, initially when you do that. And you don't have to talk to other people about it, but just like questioning and asking yourself or asking, you know, your spirit guides while you wear those pearls. Like, hey, what's up here? Why do I feel that way? How can we dissolve that? Like face it, deal with it, recognize whether that's an, a truth we want to adopt or not, and then cleanse it. Okay, so um, how can I sustain some happiness once I get some in the month of March? And they're saying don't work so hard. You've got to figure out a way to work smarter, not harder. Do less. Um, for every one thing that you add onto your plate, subtract two, basically. Um, so March overall, in a nutshell for you, they're like, this is not the happiest, most joyful month ever. But if you go back to old tried and true methods, like when you were the happiest, what were you doing then? Bring those back. You know, because chances are that now you have broken those routines and that's why you might be feeling sad, especially when it comes to workplace stuff. And so me personally, as a Leo, I know that I historically was much more regimented in the way that I ran my business and I did things. I would have like a daily schedule. Here are the things I want to do. And like when I was on schedule, when I was like following it, I was like boom, 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 super productive. And now I'm feeling bad about myself and like getting down on myself and being lazy and shit um, because I'm not doing that and I know I need to bring that back. Um, and you know, there's always a thousand excuses as to why you can't and some of them very legitimate, but some of them not. And so they're like, look backwards, see what worked for you before. And then now implement that moving forward. So that's March. I love you so much and I'll see you in April. and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!